I will cleave you into you bastard. You tried before, and yet here I am. What? Who the hell are you? You don't remember me? I remember you, though. And where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. There some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, you live to fight another day, eh? <laughs> That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christians shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today. I will make you pay for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. My lord, 
I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Probislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Fa... Fa... what? I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. That's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here is just a pile of copper. Kurva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... <laughs> ...worth. Mm. Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these grottons seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppeldell! Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhoyed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhoyed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Sir Adzig won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. <laughs>